and they're picking up their fallen warrior or their brother and bringing them back home. And that's the story behind that. A lot of dancers don't identify the stories behind these dances, and it's a beautiful way of life, and that's the way, and that was the way right there. Acknowledging all of them, let's give them in sort of the traditional a round of applause and get loud because they are walking off and they pack some energy. Second call, men's grass dancers come on out here. One of the oldest dances in our powwowways and societies as the old dead grass society of North Dakota and the relations of this very kick a badger in the behind in, this, in a better way to put it. These are the old society dancers, the first ones that would come on out to bless our arena, to bring that arena to a place and a special place as they were prayer warriors and there were people that took very good connection to that Mother Earth. And everywhere that they danced, they would put not only a prayer, but their energy in between that song and that dance. And this is the Men's Grass Dance. All right, third battle as we move on for our awesome category of Men's Grass Dancers. And we're going to go over here to Island Lake Saskatchewan to Little Island Creek. Grass, 
you got your special coming up here very shortly. We have a tie in the team categories. Team boys, traditional. Team boys, traditional. That's our number three, two, four. And that's your number three, two, six. You two are in a tie for Team Boys Traditional. So we'll break those after our gold categories and try to break them as we get the ties if there's any more. So be on standby. Men's Prairie Chicken. Come on out here, Men's KFC. Man, I probably just made half of us hungry right now. All the locals here know they go to Metal Lake to get Tuny Tuesdays to get that good old KFC fix. Two ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? All right, let's pay off these grass answers with a good old applause. Right on there, gentlemen. All the way through, smooth song, smooth dancing. That was good to watch. All right, there, Grand Prairie Chicken. This will be your second call. Second call for our men's chicken. Third call. For all you men's chicken dancers. Now listen up here, crowd. This is a good courtship dance. So this is a dance I can call you in from your heart to your mind and all your emotions. For all you single ladies out there, don't you stare too long in their eyes or you might just end up married. That is the way. Here we go. Men's chicken. Your song will go to you from Rocket. You're alive! When you're ready, men's chicken. Oh, there you go. Oh, you know what? Yeah, go ahead, jump around with Kelly's on this side. Rocking horse. When you're ready, gentlemen, men's chicken.
that's up to you guys. We're just here to announce what's on paper. How do you feel, arena director and judges? Let me know. All right. Ladies and gentlemen up there, how do you like one more? Because that's what you're going to get. Men's Tattoo, take a break and step back. Men's Chicken, you were called to have one more song because that was called upon by the judges. They want to see you go. So Buffalo Robe, you will have this second song. Or I'm sorry, Coast Drum, Buffalo Robe, you still got Men's Fancy. Prepare for that song because we don't know lately we'll be getting two songs per category. So... Whitefish Juniors, whenever we do get a high sign after they get their water, you will have this second song from Men's Berry Chicken. Once again, Team Boys Traditional Tiebreaker 324 and 326 be on standby in about two songs. You will have that tiebreaker coming up very shortly. If anyone's interested in a matching set of earrings, necklace, and bracelet, right up here, there's uh, one of our power committees selling. Tickets on this, or you can buy it straight across. Right here, come see Sonia Kaito hat. Okay, we got some water. We have you a, a little break to get you energized. And we're just about ready. Whenever we get the high sign from our reader director, he gives us the thumbs up. All right, let's go to our home strong for Men's Chicken. Second song. Second call to our men's fancy. Second call for all of your men's fancy. Now, you know what, there's spectators. You know what I said last night? 
The louder you get, the faster they go. The more energy you feed them, the more energy they feed us. Let's get down, ready to boot, scoot, and boogie. Moving on down to Buffalo Road. You're live! Patrick Mitzowing and his son Leland Mitzowing. 
Fancy for Nancy with her Fancy Dance Brothers right on. Yeah, Patty. Yes, Patrick. You know we have a lot to work on. That was a wicked one, eh? That was fast, fast, and fast. Good job there, two drums, Buffalo Rope, Thundering Creek. Wrong. Round of applause there as they exit the arena. Team Boys Traditional, where are you two dancers? Three, two, four, three, two, six. Dancer number two, two, one, come see the tabulations. Team Boys Traditional, come over here to see tabulations, please and thank you. All right, here. Soul Child, Soul Child. Hit your drum, Soul Child. We're going to put a mic man over there to Soul Child, right over here, about two drums away from Thundering Creek. Wherever you are, we'll get that microphone over there because Soul. We'll run over there. Derek, if you don't mind, we need a, a mic over there to Soul Child, please and thank you. Need D on this side. Yeah. All right, there are two youngsters. Thank you very much for acknowledging one another as we're going to get and break a tie here. Now, arena director, we're going to go two starts, I'm sure. Yeah, okay. So, Soul Child, you'll have a two start song. Our mic man's just going over there and walk, walking towards you now. Whenever he gets there, you're welcome to start that tiebreaker. Ladies and gentlemen, the audience, let's encourage these team dancers as they break a tie. You don't know where they're going to place. Good luck. Soul Child Negamopoisa. because the prayers and the person that touched that, we want to keep all that good energy in that blanket and I only want to encourage all of you to remember those old ways and teachings. Thank you to our arena director. Good luck there, Team Boys Traditional. That's number 324 and 326. You guys are going to be breaking this tie once we're done judging you up. We call the dancer by the number of 221 in the Team Boys Traditional to come see our tabulations, please, and thank you. Okay, now that we're done with this tie, I do believe we're gonna go into the next part of our agenda, which is a couple uh, a couple of things. I think we have to do a couple, two more starts. Oh, okay, so the judges have requested for this very tiebreaker, gentlemen, go get some water. Both of you will get some water. They requested one more song, a duck and dive. Let's get them going, let's get them going. 
Okay. You know, a good story behind this, Duck and Dive, this song, uh, they come from a people down south in the territory of Idaho State. For the Nez Pierce people, they were the ones that went against the Calvary, and when the Calvary was shooting the cannonballs at their people and their nation, these songs will change their tempo and beat, and they will mimic a sound of a cannon, and when that cannon shoots, the people will duck and dive out of the direction of that cannonball. There's always a story behind these dances. They're not out there for just any reason. Let's let these boys tell their story on how they interpret this beautiful dance of the duck and dive going right here to our host drum. When you're ready, White Fish Juniors! Here we go. Understanding these individual dancers, and it's hard to choose sometimes, so I appreciate you as you call on that second song. All right, arena director. Gentlemen, when you're done being judged, you may go back to your home fires and relax as we just got done with your time breaker. All right, chicken, let us know. Uh, Okay, yeah. Okay, perfect, okay. We have, uh, we're gonna start with our specials now that we're done so far with our ties. If we get any more, we will break them accordingly. So we're gonna call out now to begin to prepare our women's top 10 finalists in the jingle and our men's top 10 finalists in the men's grass.